What up, YouTube? Just checking in. Let y'all know what happened on this week's bike race. No, I did not win. But more lessons abound. So it was about 35 laps in this race, so the C class race. And I actually hung in there for 25 laps with the pack, which is great. Considering this is my third time racing. Uh, um, got more tips from other riders, what to eat, what not to eat, things to do after the race, things to do the day after the race, things to do before the race, and things to do right before you do ride in the race. Um, definitely just networking some more, getting to know more of the, the riders and the, the marshals, um, basically those people, um, patrol the race, it's kind of like the, the referees, um, but getting tips from them and just trying to be a sponge and absorb as much as possible. Um, tired as hell right now. My eyeballs are burning. Um, probably gonna call it an early night. However, judging by the time, it's not really that early <laughs> anymore. It's like this big freaking time suck. Uh, it's, it's like 10.51 right now. I'm so tired. And it probably doesn't help that I woke up late this morning. But didn't really sleep that much because I went to bed super late. And then I, you know, did this race or whatever. And just probably burned like a lot of calories and shit. Uh, what did I eat post-race? I had a protein... I guess shake or with protein mixed with almond milk uh, is pretty good. I don't really drink regular milk. I'm kind of lactose intolerant. And I had like some chips and hummus and then celery and hummus. Uh, I probably should have ate more than that. I just was not hungry. But uh, I did. I definitely drank a bunch of water. Probably drink more before I go to bed and wind down. Um, also, trying to be able to do 100 push-ups straight, or do as much as I possibly can, actually. Uh, just, I've been doing this push-up challenge, and it's, uh, basically, it helps, it, something to kind of, to, to keep me on track, uh, to have a goal in mind. So, I've been working on that. Definitely, being able to do more, longer, um, for sure. But it's definitely, you know, take a minute because I was also, I did weights yesterday and my arms were really tired. So today when I was trying to do push-ups, it was definitely a little bit of a struggle. But I did 110 is not like straight through, but definitely, you know, a good bit with a few rests in between, you know, just to get the, just to start building up the muscle to be able to really be able to do it straight. Um, what else is going on? Uh, not much else. Um, yeah, don't mind my haircut. I need a haircut already. Like, it's like once you get your haircut, the shit just grows so fast. I'm just hoping the next barber I go to, whether it's one of the same two I went to, which definitely won't be the second one, because, like... He was a little extra rough on the clippers on the back of my neck. And I don't appreciate that. Because I cannot be walking around here with a bumpy neck. Like, that's gross. Um, but I'm going to try somebody else new, most likely. And get him to taper the sides a little more. And not go into my hairline so much. Because I can't deal with, like, having my hairline, like, way back and shit. It's just, I just can't deal with that. I'm okay with not having a hard hairline. I don't need that. I'm a girl. I don't give a fuck. But definitely going to have him take a little bit more off in the back. Because, I don't know, I just don't want to taper so much as a mohawk. I just want to just take that off completely. Um, Yeah, but, you know, enough about hair. I'm about to wind down. Probably color in this here, this little coloring book. Sometimes you just get the urge to do, like, something random. So I'm probably going to color her hair a little bit, you know, gather my thoughts, then read a little bit, and then go to sleep. 
even though I don't know if I'll even make it that long because I am super tired and I'm debating on whether or not to get up really early to go to the gym tomorrow. I don't know. Time will tell. I usually just let my body do, like, tell me if I can, if I feel up to getting up that early because I don't want to overdo it and, you know, you, you got to make sure you give your body enough rest, uh, which I definitely didn't do last night. So I want to try to make sure I get that taken care of tonight. Um, I'll do a better job of doing that. <laughs> Definitely my girlfriend's been getting on me about me eating the sweets and stuff. I really, sweets is just awesome. I love it. <laughs> my first motivation for even, like, working out as much. Well, I had a motivation, but I'll get into that. But, was so I can just, so I can eat kind of what I want. Um, not like ridiculous amounts, but... I just, I just really can't eat that much sugar. Like, it just breaks me out. Like, it's just, and no matter what I do. So, definitely it's not in my best interest to be ingesting a lot of uh, sugar. I definitely had was, was, was grabbing this past week. And I had some ice cream. Had some Reese's Pieces one day. I had a peanut butter cookie another day. Two of them. Another day, I had, like, a brownie and ice cream. Like, I was smashing, like, so long. But I'm going to take it easy and ease up because I'm really trying to get, you know, my fitness, you know, in a better place, especially, like, when we're cycling because I do want to improve every week. You know, you don't want your your level of, of, of like, it's how your performance to be the same. You want to see improvement. And I do know the only way to do that is definitely by changing my diet, getting enough rest and stuff like that. So, you know, if you expect different results, you just got to do different things. Can't keep doing the same shit and expect different results. So, you know, I know that. And I'm definitely, like, totally going to buckle down. <laughs> so, yeah. But, you know, enough of that little rant. I'm about to go to bed. Y'all have a good night. Peace.